today. We are gonna be doing our Animal Crossing New Horizons design competition and you will have the chance to win your very own pack of Amiibo cards. I ship internationally. I'll ship anywhere. I'll ship anywhere as long as your country will accept my letter and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and as long as you have an address to give me. And even if you maybe don't want to give me your address, which is totally a normal and rational thing to not want to do, I can do something digitally, right? I can give you a digital price. No worries on that. So everybody is welcome to participate. I would love if all of you guys participated. And if you don't have time to participate today, you're more than welcome to still vote for the winners. Anyways, how this works is you're going to open up your Animal Crossing New Horizons game and we are going to pick a prompt. We're going to do three prompts today. At the beginning of each round, we are going to vote on the prompt that we would like to do, preferably some Halloween themed ones because it's October. OK, I will say I'm going to lean a little bit towards those, but We'll be picking our prompt and then we will have 15 minutes to design a room within the prompts parameters. So you have 15 minutes to design something with if we pick, I don't know, I think we did like a witch's layer last time. So maybe we'll avoid doing witchy stuff overtly. But like if we do like haunted mansion or something, then you have 15 minutes to make something that kind of looks like a haunted mansion to you. And then, once your room is all designed and the time limit is up, you're gonna take a little screenshot of your builds and then you are gonna post it on twitter.com. I will tweet something, I have not yet tweeted it out, but I will tweet something on twitter.com and you're just gonna reply underneath that tweet. Sorry, X. <laughs> You're gonna reply underneath that tweet with a photo of your submission. And we're gonna go through all of the submissions and you're gonna like the ones that are your favorite. The ones with the most likes at the end of today's stream are gonna be our winners and they will win a pack of Amiibo cards or a digital prize. Now you might be wondering, okay, well, how do I design something in Animal Crossing New Horizons in other, under 15 minutes? I suggest doing one of the three methods here. The first one being, the Harv's Island experience inside of the Harv's photo house. You can decorate in Animal Crossing New Horizons with anything that you've ever held in your inventory inside of there, and you don't have to have the physical item. So Harv's Island is a great way to do it. If you have the DLC, you can also design a vacation home for a random villager. I know that a lot of people like to do that method because then you can get some really cute pics out of it. So you design something in a villager's vacation home. Might take just like a little bit more prep to do that. So you have like the maximum amount of time to decorate, you know, so you don't have to sit through all the dialogues and things. And then the third way, which is my way of choice, is the Room Sketch app. The Room Sketch app has, um, you have to have done, what is it? 30 something? Happy home paradise vacation homes. It's a lot to unlock it. So if you don't have it unlocked, I recommend if you have the DLC to do the vacation home method, or if you don't have, or if you don't have the DLC, excuse me. If you do have the DLC, do the vacation home method. If you don't have the DLC, definitely do Harv's Island. That's how we used to do it back in the day before the DLC too was on Harv's Island. Does anybody have any questions? I would be so happy to answer any questions. I'm gonna go through real quick um first time participating not gonna lie i already stressed out we'll take this time right now to get whatever method you want to use to design this room ready to go you know what i mean how do you get the photo from the switch to your phone so you can screenshot on the switch with a little you know the little button that's kind of on the joy con the left joy con i think and it looks like a little circle inside of a square button that is a screenshot button and then you can go to your album and you can send it to your phone or you can send it to Twitter. I send mine to a separate Twitter account and just auto tweets my screenshots and then um, I will save it and 
post it underneath my tweet. It's a little bit of like a complicated thing, but you can also just straight up take a little pic with your phone. Just take like a nice little pic of your screen if you want. I don't mind that at all either. Okay, I think that we are ready to start throwing some prompts in the chat. So give me your Halloween ideas. I'm gonna set up the poll for our first prompt. I, I would like to stick with some spooky or fall themed stuff today. I'm leaning a little bit more towards fall this month, or excuse me, towards spooky Halloween this month because next month might be more appropriate to have like a ton of fall prompts, right? Um, ooh, spooky candy store. Okay, vampire lair, detective crime scene. Okay, I'm gonna do crime scene, I love that one. Instead of doing spooky candy store, cause I feel like not all of us are gonna be able to like have like a bunch of store items. What if we do a spirit Halloween? Cause you could do like a little candy section of your spirit Halloween. You could do a costume section. I feel like that would be sick. I'm gonna do spirit Halloween store. Um, in case you don't know what spirit Halloween is, it's just like where you go, where everybody goes to buy costumes and things. They just have it all. Um, Luigi's Mansion. We got some Gooigi's up in here. Is there anything that like, Item-wise, that would pass for little goo ghosts. Haunted basement, haunted attic. We could do haunted house because you could do like so many things with that idea. I feel like that's really nice and broad. You could do either like a walkthrough haunted house that you would go and visit on Halloween, or you could do like a legit like haunted basement, like what you're saying. Graveyard, I love that one. Okay, I'm gonna start with these four. Hold on to your ideas if I didn't see them. Hold on to them and we'll make sure to collect prompts again for the other two rounds, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this poll up. It should pop up at the top of chat. If it doesn't pop up to you, you might have to refresh, refresh your stream. But go ahead and vote in the poll. Oh, I don't like that my chat box is up there. Go ahead and vote in the poll for your favorites and I'm gonna go ahead and get it started in my game. What I'm gonna do is I am probably gonna use the Room Sketch app. I know I always say like, oh, I'd like to try the Happy Home Paradise thing, but it's just like a little bit too much thought for me, you know? The issue is I wanna see all of these. No, like we're gonna have to do some crossover here with some of these polls, but our first winner is Spirit Halloween Store. If you guys can do me a favor, help me remember Crime Scene Haunted House Graveyard because I'd like to include some of those in the future voting too because these are all really good. <laughs> Show. If you've not been here, it's these pop-up stores that pop up only around Halloween time in like all of the empty strip malls in America, okay? And they have all of the things that you can buy for decorations outside of your home. They have masks. They have all the costumes that you could ever imagine. All the scary spooky stuff. They've got fog machines going in there and it can get really crazy and hectic around Halloween time. Like, and they've got little displays and stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna do a little display in mine with some of like the ruins, the ancient ruins things but it's basically where everybody goes to get their costumes. Maybe they go and they get cute little like Halloween themed merchandise. They go and they get decorations for out front of their home, maybe even perhaps some candy, you know? Um, it's just the place to frickin' be. It is the place to be. <laughs> Mustard or ketchup, I seen those. Those are so funny, I love the SpongeBob movie. That's always been one of my favorite movies ever. All right, guys, are we ready? I'm gonna restart our clock here and we're gonna get it going. Our first prompt is Spirit Halloween Store and we're gonna go ahead and reset our timer. You have 15 minutes to decorate something that kind of re resembles a Halloween store. Whatever that may mean to you. All right, guys. We're getting started in five, four, three, 
two, and one. 15 minutes on the clock, started now. Okay, I feel like it's always, Spirit Halloween is always inside of like, um, yeah, like an abandoned strip mall type of beat and either has like a terrible, <laughs> terrible tile flooring or flooring like this. Ooh, I'm going with this, okay? I'm going with this. And then the walls, do they ever like really do up the walls? Because I feel like they actually cover the walls with a lot of their branding at Spirit Halloween. And there's all like costumes all up on the walls and everything. So this can kind of be somewhat of an afterthought, but maybe I do like a retail sort of setting on one of the walls. Maybe that. And then I'll probably just go with like a good old black or dark wall on the other sides. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is giving Halloween store all fucking ready. Okay, this is lit. This is so lit, you guys. Okay, um, the lighting, I'm gonna probably worry about that a little bit later. Okay, this looks good. This looks good already. All right, I wanna do, oh my gosh, I have to like remember where everything is, it's so stressful. But I really wanna do one of those kind of displays where they have the little spooky guys hanging out. I don't know if I have like a lot of the pumpkin stuff crafted in this game. But I'm gonna do a little display with a gravestone. And then, ooh, maybe I can do like a little light or something. Okay, here, 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 here. We've got spooky tower. I don't know if I'm gonna go full spooky tree, but I'm gonna do the scarecrow. Okay, guys, where are the ancient ruins stuff? Am I just not seeing it? Um a crime that there's not a search feature. Imagine that though. I feel like that would be good for handhelds. Like if you could type in. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, dee, 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 beep. Um, damn dude, where is this shit? There we go, okay. Castle wall. I'm gonna do this castle gate. Okay, there's a dark twisted fucked up version of castle gate. Oh my God, this is great, okay. We're gonna do this display with a little grave. Oh, I wish I could like nestle it inside there. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, before I forget, we most definitely need spider webs on the wall. That is like the utmost importance here. Spirit Halloween is weirdly expensive. It totally is. You can walk out spending like over $60 on a costume. It's fucking crazy over there. Okay. Ooh, super cool, super cool. Okay, 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 okay. What else? Um, is there like any sort of like strobe light in this game? You know what I mean? Like, or crazy, fun, cool lighting? Because they always got hella strobe lights in the spirit Halloween. I'm gonna put a little rug down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, we're already at 11 minutes. I'm gonna put a little rug down. Damn, I like wish we had more time. <laughs> this is too crazy. But I need some sort of like separation on the floor for this little display. Ooh, maybe I could do a twisted dark version of a rug. <laughs> it's like a twisted fucked up look in my mind. No, that looks really bad. Um. Perhaps it's just gonna be this round glowing moss rug underneath the grave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna put a counter because that's a great way to take up some space here. And it's going to be this concrete island. Okay, um, I always do my stores like this. Jesus Christ, who the fuck is yelling and screaming out there? I always do my stores like this because it's just so easy. It's so easy to just throw a roid behind a cash register and call it a fucking day because then that communicates store, you know? Ooh, who's like a dark, twisted version of a gyroid? Um, who's like the scariest looking? Probably this guy, Rattaloid. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, that's my cashier. And now I need to get him a cash register, and then boom, like, we, we know it's a store. 
You should know you're nourishing. You picking up what I'm putting down? Um, it would be so cute to go above and beyond and get Spirit Halloween designs for things. But I am not that girl. I am not that girl. I'll just do a black bag. Yes. Yep, and a black cash register. Which side's forward? I feel like I don't know. I feel like it's that side. Everyone's always got an opinion about that, though. All right. Costumes. This is going to be hard. <gasps> Steph Luisa, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. Welcome to our sub club. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so awesome. Okay, what are some good... Okay, if you want to be a wizard, Harry... That's a graduation gown. Okay. If you want to... What else could you want to be for Halloween? Come on. Come on. Oh, if you want to be a king. Okay. If you want to be... A doctor. Ripped doctor's coat. It's like a twisted... <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop quoting that. All like the last month. Like a twisted dark reality. Um, I'm gonna do the skull shirt because, yeah, Halloween. Oh, sure. Oh my god, we only have eight minutes. I'm freaking the fuck out. Okay. <sighs> Let's go to this section. You could be a baseball player, but, like, I feel like that's weak. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Bone costume. Oh my god. Whatever villager gifted me that, I commend you. Firefighter. Peasant. Maid. We could do a maid costume. An ode to Raymond. <laughs> okay, I also want to have a little, like, mannequin display out on the flow. So, what would be a good mannequin display costume? Maybe a sheep cost? No, that looks so stupid. <laughs> on the floor. Reindeer? No, 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 no. Maybe I, maybe I put the bones out because it's like so overtly Halloweeny. Halloweener. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll maybe get rid of the one on the wall here. Okay, so we've got some clothes. Maybe I'll throw um, some witches hats. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Witches hats. Where is that stuff? There we go. Oh, perfect. It hangs just right. Just right. Um, why is this like this? Okay. Maybe I will do head bandages? Nar. A cowboy hat? Yeah, we'll throw like another hat down there. Actually, no. We're going to throw... We're going to get rid of that. Okay. I'll come back to the walls. This is already getting a little crazy. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else would be at a Halloween store? I feel like I've hit a lot of amazing things here, you know? Ooh, stage lights. Perhaps mayhaps. So I'm gonna put the pumpkin by the cash register. Is there a fog machine in this game? Okay, we've got a little red light. Something like that. Ugh, I should have adjusted the size of this room, I think. No, this is looking good. Um, maybe I put this mannequin on the floor right there and have like a ATM machine or something. I just don't know where that is. Um, did I pass it? I probably did. I'm gonna spend a million years looking for this goddamn ATM machine. Oh, here we go, here we go. A, B, D. Oh, there's a yellow one? That would be good for like spirit Halloween, but I don't really have a lot of yellow stuff right now. Okay, um, lighting needs some work. No, like I can't do all that. Like I just can't. We'll do dim light. All right, let's get some more stuff on the walls and then I think I'll feel comfortable because we only have five minutes left. 
and there's only so much we can do in this 15 minute time frame. So, aren't there masks in this game? Oh my god. This mask. Going on the wall. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, we're gonna have a mask wall. <gasps> Ooh, I could turn the lights completely off. That's like a good idea, kinda. Mask. Okay, we've got Knight's helmet. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes, girl! I don't like when they are on pedestals, though. That's like super ugly. Okay, let me go back to glasses here. What all do I have in the mask department? Isn't that... Skeleton hood? I don't like the look of that stuff. You know what I mean? When it like hangs on the wall like that with the little mannequin head. But I guess this is just what I'm gonna have to do. We have Geisha wig. Nope, don't like the mannequin head. Golden helmet, I'm not really loving that either. We already have a helm. Anything else? I feel like I just don't have a lot of clothing options. You know what I mean, love. Pirate's hat, how's that gonna display? Stupid, that's how it's gonna fucking display. Um, okay, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, uh, freaking out. Okay, what if I turn the lights all the way down like that? That's how I was thinking. More stuff on the walls, more stuff on the walls. That's how we're gonna save it here. Okay, we can get some businessy stuff here, right? Like this is a store, this is a reputable business. Spirit Halloween um, has... <laughs> I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Spirit Halloween has, where is all the spooky stuff in this goddamn game? Spirit Halloween has not a lot, okay? Like this is crazy. All right, skull door plate. You're gonna be doing some heavy lifting over here. I thinks, me thinks. And then um, I have a wisp photo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Can I find the fucking key ring holder? Or what? Where is that? Because that's a business item for business girls. Found. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Um, this is what it looks like lights off. Hmm. <gasps> Spooky garland. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Welcome door plate. Spooky Garland. Welcome door plate will go up there. I'm gonna do Spooky Garland all the way across there. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Mobster, how's it going? We're doing an Animal Crossing design competition right now. If you wanna jump in on the next round, cause we've got one minute, 45 seconds left on this one. Oh my God. Okay, we're doing a spotlight. We're doing a studio wall spotlight on the fucking wall. It's cool, it's chill. It's chill, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, no, whatever. Okay, boxes, that's what stores have. Where are boxes? This happens to me every single time where I don't know where things are. And I always lose track of my boxes. Okay, totally. This is like if Nook's Cranny ran the Spirit Halloween um, just like boxes and boxes on boxes everywhere. I wish I had more spooky stuff out. One minute. Oh my god. <gasps> this is bad. This is bad. I don't know what else I would put out here. Oh, Jesus criminy. Isn't there a store display? Maybe I can use that. Oh god. <gasps> bones. Yep. Oh, we got bones, girl. Don't worry about us, we got bones. Pirate's wheel. <laughs> um, shoot, we got 30 seconds left, 30 seconds. Wrap it up, you guys. I'm doing the skeleton, um, of course, because that's just how we do. We've got 20 seconds left. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Get all your ideas all wrapped up in a pretty little bow. I don't think I like this lighting. It's not, 
It's not doing it for me. We got seven seconds. Okay, I got seven seconds to fix it. Yeah, that is more like it. Okay, we're done. We're done. I think the lighting kind of saved it a little bit. What do you guys think? Wrap it up. Eh, time's up. You're done. I think it actually turned out all right. You know, I didn't figure out a strobe light situation. I'm positive that there is one in this game. Ugh, so I'm a little sad about that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm excited to see what all you guys did. The cashier's name is Lewis. <laughs> oh my God. See, like that is so, you just like took it and you did something so concise with your allotted here, I'm gonna actually move myself. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going down here. You did so much with your allotted time and it's so like simple. You know, you didn't jam pack it with objects. All of your objects are so intentional. It just looks so good. Oh, you killed it. I just love that so much. Um, Francesco, store is closed. Surveillance camera's on. I totally didn't use the heaviest filter to cover the ugly mess I made. No, I love it. I love the filter. This is actually so cool and so creative, like to do the filter like that. See, everybody has all the cool spooky Halloween stuff and I don't, I don't have shit. And I, I was a little sad about that. So, and maybe I am underprepared for today's design competition, but I love the filter. I think that's so cool. It looks like it's from a security camera. Little pumpkin friend is too small for the cash register. Oh, so cute. Little pumpkin cashier. <laughs> that looks awesome. Oh, the little store special signs too. That's great. The um, spider door plate or whatever it's called. Spooky door plate, spider door plate. And then the cauldrons. Like this looks great. Oh, killing it. This was too stressful. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that every single time. This is awesome. I love this. The little arch too. You have a little store display. It's great with the green lighting back there. And then, oh, the little spooky, what's it called? The tarot card set? Or no, this is a crystal ball. A crystal ball. Looks awesome. Submitting for the first time ever on my BF's Twitter. I got overwhelmed. This goes by so much faster than I thought. It's a challenge. It's a total challenge. Medicine cabinet. Great idea. All the masks on the wall, perfect. The wallpaper is amazing. Killed it, absolutely killed it. That is a Spirit Halloween store, if I ever seen one. We got a couple different angles here. Oh, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Room size was a, perhaps a bit too ambitious. I always get too ambitious with mine too. I wish I would have made my room smaller too. Um, because it's just like, it just gets to be too much, you know? But I love the idea of what you did with the little back room. That's really creative and very super cool. And then your front room is like all the little spirit Halloween stuff and your display. Look, you got a display with all of the <laughs> pumpkins around the cauldron and the chainsaw. Great ideas, great ideas. Crystal. Okay, Crystal. Wow, this is very pretty. Oh my goodness, all the costumes up top. You picked really good costumes too. The wallpaper, the flooring, the setup of everything. This is like Spirit Halloween if it slayed, you know? Robin, I panicked. <laughs> I feel that, I was freaking out the whole time. No, the well, the well always makes me think of, what movie does it make me think of? The Ring? I don't like that movie at all. I actually really don't fuck with The Ring. That's, she's my, Nightmare blunt rotation. The ring, the grudge, the exorcist. <laughs> Actually just kill me. But <laughs> I love this and I love that you have a little pirate display down here. That's so cool and so creative. I That's a really good idea. Hee 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 hee. Are you a zombie? Is that why you're green? <laughs> Watch you just be green and you're not even a <laughs> The lighting is spectacular. I really, really love this setup that you did with the framing and everything and all of the costumes on this wall too. It looks really cool. Oh, killed it. Spirit Halloween feeds the spirit in my soul. This is like spirit Halloween colors to the max. Very Halloween colors in general. 
I love that. Wow, how cool. And then the designs on the tables, the display tables, and it looks like a store. Absolutely looks like a store with the lighting too. The lighting is really selling it. Partition wall is epic. Very epic gamer. Here's a better version. I don't know if I saw your submission earlier. I don't think I did, but <laughs> if you resubmit it, totally fine, totally fine. But this is beautiful. I love the gear wall. That's like very industrial. Industrial spirit Halloween. And then we've got pumpkins, a little place where you can look at yourself in the mirror. I love the makeup section of Spirit Halloween because it's so chaotic. Do you guys ever think about how like every time you go in the Spirit Halloween makeup section, if it's like a week before Halloween, half the makeup is open. It's just like a fucking mess over there. People are like doing their makeup in store nobody cares have you guys ever seen that before i'm like are you on your way to a halloween party because why are you doing your makeup in the middle of spirit halloween right now <laughs> it, it gets a little hectic around halloween time the hairspray too that's a really good idea i love it spirit halloween the hay fields are cool reminds me of children of the corn i don't like that either <laughs> not a fan the pirates map too. I love the pirate theming that you guys are doing as well because that's really um, just like such a good idea because there is a lot of pirate stuff in this game too. It's awesome. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. Um, <laughs> what, you figured out how to do the screenshot. I love that. Done what I could. What are you talking about, Ellie? This is so cool. Again, just like such a great way to do so much with less you know what i mean it's like obviously there's a lot of items here but the room is very small and it's like the layout was clearly super thought out especially with the little display in the back and then the way you did the counters yeah yeah it's pretty fucking cool looks like a haunted mansion too did you guys watch the new haunted mansion i saw a tiktok the other day that was like um oh my god this is really this is awesome. Holy cow, this is great that you have all of the costumes with the, like the head pieces here. Wow, this is so cool. And you've got my little boy. How cute is this? This is really awesome, Ari. Killed it. Okay, so I seen a TikTok the other day that says the new Haunted Mansion has, this is an adorable photo. Also, I love this thingy. I don't have this thingy. Lights on that says Haunted Mansion has like the most product placement ever and it's so egregious and so bad. And so I thought when I was seeing this TikTok, I thought it would be really fun to do a watch the new Haunted Mansion drinking game. And you drink every time that there's a product placement. I heard it's like a lot that they like explicitly say like, I found the Haunted Mansion on Zillow. <laughs> And then they move into the Haunted Mansion in their U-Haul. Like, it's really bad, I heard. Um, anyways. <laughs> this is so beautiful, Clarissa. The lighting. The lighting is killing it. The purple and the orange. Very Halloween, darling. Of course, all of the little costumes. Costumes, such a good idea. Such a good idea. We've got candy out. Gorgeous. Bryn. Oh. I love that your little character's in there. Amazing Grace, thank you for using your prime on me, by the way. Mwah! Thank you for the 13. This is gorgeous. And then Coco, she looks like she could be a mannequin. She looks like she could be a part of the stow. And then we got chicken here. Oh! This is so cool! Is this a specific custom design you have, or is this something that is in the game? These handprints. The gooey handprints are so good! And the store displays and everything, this is rocking it. Absolutely rocking it. I love this so much. Oh, pumpkin boxes. Damn, you're smart. You are smart. Girl, I have never seen or heard of a spirit Halloween in my life. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, you sent in a video submission? This is awesome, actually. This is so cool. And for not knowing what a Spirit Halloween is, you crushed it and you killed it. You have so many beautiful costumes on the wall, all the little displays. 
<laughs> this is awesome. You like really, yeah, I'm impressed if you have no idea. That is so good. There's 29 product placements in the movie. Wow, that's egregious. I, I love that you did a video submission. Please continue to do that because that's really cool. I've never had anybody do that before. This was horrible. <laughs> it looks amazing. It really does. I love the garlands on the ceiling. Great idea. And then the clothing display. The little gotcha, like, sorry. Who has a spooky gotcha in their builds? I don't really see a lot of other people doing that. So I think this is beautiful. Uh, 15 minutes is so not enough time. So fun though. I know it's just a little crazy, but you did an amazing job. This is like the Spirit Halloween warehouse. It's kind of what it feels like inside of a Spirit Halloween too, where there's like a bajillion million costumes. I want to go to a Spirit Halloween. I don't even have Halloween plans, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stay inside and work on my little video. Well, actually, I'm not going to be able to. Because that'll... Anyways. But this is gorgeous. I love it. You have everything here. It's perfect. And I love your little display. Okay, I'm going to give it a good old, good old refresh. Raise your hand if I didn't see yours. We've got Agent Orange here. European take on Spirit Halloween. I was sweating. You did a phenomenal job. No sweat needed. All the costumes. You've got the checkout. This is a Spirit Halloween store, babes. Perfect. Absolutely no notes. Here's mine. Ooh, I really like your display. With the, oh, the, the pirate's barrels are such a good idea, even without the piratey stuff because of the skull and crossbones. And all of the, man, all the costumes look so good. Ah, oh, so good. So, so good. I'm so upset that I don't have all of these cool costumes that you guys had. Because you all crushed it. I'm gonna keep going down. Kaden. <laughs> this is my sister's Lily. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Lily. I love all of your costumes on the wall. It's so cute. Ooh, this looks like I did strawberry shortcake for one year. And I did something similar to the little strawberry. It reminds me of that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got a store display. You've got all your costumes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say that's a spirit Halloween, baby. Oh, my gosh. Are they doing... No way. The little skeleton's doing a game of chess. I might steal that for a future one today. I'm actually going to steal that idea. <laughs> if we do, like, a haunted mansion, I'm totally doing skeletons playing chess. That is so good. Hmm. Brilliant idea. Perla, I tried and you succeeded. Oh yeah, you succeeded. Is this disco floor? That is so Spirit Halloween appropriate. <laughs> this is very good. This is so cute. You have all of the little costumes up, of course, the little decor that you can buy, the candy, everything. That's a Spirit Halloween right there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. First time participating, this was so nerve wracking. It was so overwhelming to find everything. I panicked and put a sampler instead of a cash register since I did not find it. Not my best work, but for 15 minutes, consider it a win. I do consider it a win. I wouldn't have even noticed, honestly. I would have been like, yeah, that's a cash register. But it also kind of looks cool because it looks like your gnome is playing the Spirit Halloween like as a DJ, doing a DJ set. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> imagine if like they converted the Spirit Halloween to a club. <laughs> I would go. Oh yeah, I would go. Um, I feel like one of the best vibes of all time is going to the club on or right near Halloween, and they play all like the <laughs> they play all the like corny ass Halloween stuff. I love it. DJs on Halloween or something else. Okay, speak now or forever hold your peace if I didn't see yours. Oh, we've got a couple in here. Make sure you guys are liking your favorite submissions. And then at the very end of stream today, we're gonna vote on our faves. Had to repost, but I tried. This is really cool. This is actually so cool because you know what I immediately was thinking of? I was thinking of like, 
This is like a chess or like a checkers board. And all of your little costumes are like the pieces. That's what I thought of right away when I saw this. And I thought that was really cool. And I think it's awesome. Killed it. Crushed it. Uh, mine is the day before opening day. Merchandising all product. I love that you put them on it. Did you put them on a collage on your Instagram story? That's fucking awesome. This is beautiful. These pictures are awesome. I love that you have Jack. Just chilling. Oh, so fun. So, so fun. It's like a... It's like kind of like a thrifty Halloween vibe. You know what I mean? Vintagey Halloween. Okay. Brookerside just posted mine. Did I just look at yours? I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Let's see. Had to get Twitter. <laughs> That's the vibe. Okay, you have to say right now if I didn't see yours because I will go and I will find it. Any means necessary. I will go and I will find it. But I'm pretty sure that we saw everybody's submissions. Thank you everybody for participating in our first round of our Animal Crossing design competition. All of your submissions were very, very good. Please feel free to vote for your favorites. The ones with the most likes at the end of stream today are going to be declared our winners. Shower. Make sure you go and vote for as many or as little submissions as you like and unapologetically vote for your own. But since nobody spoke up about me accidentally missing theirs, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next poll. So, second prompt. What were some of the losers from the last round of voting? I remember crime scene and I really like that one. So I'm gonna incorporate crime scene into the second round of voting. Throw out all of your suggestions and ideas. I loved graveyard, haunted house, monster mash. House moving castle is interesting. Horror movie night. I will fail crime scene, me too, me too. I would, it wouldn't look as good. I'd have to get some designs, to be honest, if we were to do crime scene. I'd have to get like a blood or something. Halloween party. Okay. I'm gonna do haunted mansion graveyard. So it's kind of a lot from the last round, but like I feel like all of these were really, really good and I'll include one more. And um, Pumpkin Patch is a really good one. Pumpkin Patch is really fucking fun. Spooky Forest is fun. Spooky Forest, you can do that with Graveyard, I think. We can kind of mush those together. I love the Monster Mash. I love Monster Mash. Monster Mash Halloween Party. Something really spooky like the DMV. <sighs> Whoa! What was that? Hello! But it looks like Haunted Mansion is not gonna move on to the next round because it got the least amount of votes, and our winner is Graveyard. Graveyard! Let's go! Let's kill it! Because they're dead. Alright! Five, four, three two and one 15 minutes reset on the clock here we go i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to make something spectacular first of all our flooring i'm gonna go with like a good old good old dirt nasty little flooring we're gonna start with this one i think and kind of work our way through there and then i think i'm gonna do an outside wall I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've always had like the hardest time. I don't know if you guys feel this way with doing outside inside. Do you know what I mean? Um, it just, I can never get it to like actually look right. Okay. So we'll do this and then I am going lights down mode. We're going to start with our lights really low like this. 
See, the wallpaper is just such a trip. So what I was thinking of doing was having like the centerpiece of my build be a crypt. I believe if I could fucking find anything, Jesus Christ, I believe a crypt would look epic. I don't want it to look too castle-y, but imagine, imagine that and it's like a room you can't see into maybe with the castle gate i want to change the colors of these two i think pillars perhaps to help hide that corner girl i don't know it looks funky how do you guys use this stuff in this goddamn game you see the vision well, I'm kind of seeing the vision a little, but the biggest problem here, no. Yeah, we gotta go a little bit wider because I'm gonna do all the graves out front. Maybe I do a little accent wall back there. I could maybe also do a castle wall in the interior here, just so it kind of like looks right when you look inside of it. No, that looks a little funky. Looks a little bit funky. Oh, I'm gonna put jail bars in front of it, so it's like, the crypt is locked. Nobody can go in. Rusted iron? Yeah. Does that what it looks like, though, or does it look fucking stupid? No, it, it if I turn the lights down again, it, it should be okay. See, I just have the hardest time, because I'm not good at this like you guys are. Okay. Epic. Very epic. I might do an accent wall back there. What that's going to be, I'm not sure. Probably another outside wall. Yeah. Pillars fit in the corners. I think so. I think I'm going to try that. Um. Wow. Okay. Dungeon wall? That kind of looks dumb. Oh, but you know what could maybe not look dumb? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, give me a second. I'm thinking with my brain here. And I have some time because I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something simple. No, no. This is not no. No. Stupid. Looks dumb. Okay. I go back. I pick another accent wall. It's gonna be another outdoor wall. Your hair if I can is help looking it. amazing today. Less than three. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Leona, I love you. You're just so awesome always. Okay, what if it really was like an actual wall wall? Like there was a wall behind my crypt. Is there a wall wall? Um, I know I know I sound insane right now, but I have this vision and it's so hard to put this stuff together for me. It's so hard. Okay, there's something like this brick garden wall, but the sky is obviously a little too blur. You know? Do I want it to be like... Ooh, the purple is cool. Okay. Oh! The purple is cool. Okay. It's a little too dark right now, but um, I'm gonna turn the lights all the way on just so I can see what the fuck is going on here. Okay, Um, I think I'm giving up on my different fun little accent wall. It's just not working. It's just not working. So, I'm gonna keep going with my crypt idea. I'm gonna bring out, there's like pillars in game, but there's also these pillars. And it could work to sort of hide the corner because the corner is just so much, you know? Um, but it just looks so funky. 
It really does. This pillar is not gonna work. There's other pillars. I bring other pillars. It's not that bad. Um. No, it's not that bad. If I take it from like a particular angle, and then of course with the lights off, let's bring our lighting back here. Maybe I don't love the purple all that much. Okay, yeah, that looks cool, but the pillars are not doing it. List pillars, oh my gosh. Eight minutes, Jesus Christ, I've done nothing, but I'm, I'm working on a structure, okay? And everything else is gonna be pretty simple. You have eight minutes, guys. Eight freaking minutes. Okay, um, well, this pillar's cute, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use her. <laughs> yes, girl! Uh, ooh, there's also spooky arch. Always a fun time. All right, this is the kind of one that I was like thinking of. Gray stones. Ugh. What else could I use to hide this? Actually, wait. Wait. Actually. That looks perfectly fine. And the lights are gonna be a little lower for my final picture anyways. Maybe I don't even need one on that side if I'm gonna take my picture like this. What if instead I do a spooky tree to hide in that corner? Where is the love? The love. Oh, I don't even have spooky tree. I have decayed tree though. Damn, did I have no fun last year for Halloween in this goddamn game? Okay, what if it was like, kind of like that? All right, okay, that's something interesting. Yeah, I don't feel like I need, ooh, ooh, here's an idea, here's an idea. If it all moves this way. Uh-huh. And then we have the pillar. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Had to do it to him. Hi, user Autumn. How you doing? Had to fucking do it to him. Okay. <gasps> Charlo, don't be mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. It's working. It's working out. So what do I need now? Well, um, leaves go under trees. That's fine. I wish we had like a BB move objects. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, five minutes almost. Five minutes, everybody. I really need, obviously, the gravestones. I'm gonna use the Western gravestones. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna do a nice little variety here. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm gonna do two there. This pillar, she might have to go, love. She might have to go. Actually, wait. What if I do, oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are not ready for this. You're not ready. What if I do this ruined arch instead? I might change the color. Okay. Girl, get it together. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Mm, so maybe only two gravestones. One of them's gonna be mossy. One of them might stay black, but you know, we're kind of severely lacking light. 
Like any sort of fun lighting would probably be very helpful, I think. So how am I gonna incorporate that? We've got four minutes to figure that out. I think, is there not a lighting section? Oh my gosh, it's right here. I love these street lamps. Oh, you know what floor I should use? What's the, the foggy floor? Okay, so we got two lamps. Cloud floor. Should I should I do that and do rugs all around? This is looking pretty good. Um shit. Well, we got 3 minutes to make that happen. And what kind of like rugs am I going to put? You know what I mean? Um we have a little bit more freedom of like not needing to see not needing the rugs to be perfect. Isn't there There's these stone rugs. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking really regret this. Let's do a little corner with, where'd it go? Oh my God, hurry up, bitch. Dark stones. Oh, that still looks dirt-like. Oh my God. She's fucking devouring. No way. This looks really good. Keep going. Nice. Our light can go even lower now. Maybe a little purple. All right, we need a little bit more lighting. We're gonna put candles on the floor. We have two minutes. Two minutes. We just need some more oomph and pizzazz, you know? I'm actually really excited about this. Looks fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Chic flowers. Candles. Okay, gorge. Gorgeous. There's only so much space for candles, so I want to be really selective on what I'm doing here. Any other candle things? Um and maybe some flowers. Do I have Discord? I do have a Discord server for subs. If you are a part of our sub club, please make sure you join through your Discord settings. Ah, uh, shit. Where are the bones that were on the floor? Okay, a last, last ditch effort. Like, I don't know. I just wanna Throw some more shit on the floor, and I don't know where those goddamn bones are. God damn it. 15 minutes is just not enough. It's just hard out here, okay? It's just very fucking hard. Okay, we like our bones. I'm gonna just do the candles right there. Um, we've got 43 seconds. Barrel with candle? No, this is like taking up too much space. Kiki, <laughs> unless... Everything moves down a little, and we do the barrel right there. And then maybe the candles on top. And then we've got 21 seconds. 21 seconds, everybody. Hurry up. Get all your shit in. <gasps> oh my god. 11 seconds. 11 seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm done. Two, one, done, done. Shovel, ah, shit. I should have read your guys' messages. No, that would have been such a good idea. Oh my gosh, can we submit a few different angles? Absolutely, I only ever do one angle because it's like enough for me, but you can do as many angles as you want. Wow, wow, it actually worked out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, girl, let's do it. That, it's cute. It's cute. Ah! Oh my God. Okay. Make sure you submit your graveyards. Underneath this tweet, I'll throw the link up in the chat for you. Cherry's graveyard date. The statue. 
Wow. The photo perspective. Boo, I love you. The shovel. Oh my god, you guys are all going to have shovels and I'm not going to have a shovel and I'm really mad. <laughs> Oh, it looks so awesome. I love that you do it in Happy Home Paradise. You could take cool pics. Cool pics. Oh. <laughs> Abandoned jungle temple graveyard awaiting the spirits of the dead. This is so cool. Wow, the symmetry is going crazy right now. Oh, the candles look so good. Wow, the lighting and everything. That is spectacular. Guess who didn't have the Western style stove? <laughs> I hate when that happens, when you have like one thing that you wanted to do and you don't have the one item. Oh my God, it drives me so insane. It still looks spectacular. I feel like those little stone things really do resemble gravestones to me. Um, and so it totally works. And I think it's beautiful how you have the statue right in the middle. It's awesome. Okay, maybe I like this. This photo is like straight out of a movie perspective. This is, this looks like a shot from like an Indiana Jones movie. This is so cool. Wow. How are you guys so good with like perspective and things like that? Because it just is so amazing to me. Crushed it. This is really, really awesome. Spooky Forest has some secrets. Got a secret. Can you keep it? <laughs> I love the mushrooms. The mushrooms are such a good idea. Okay, if somebody told you that there was, um, that the if in a graveyard they were like hey these mushrooms are edible would you eat them mushrooms that are growing in a graveyard would you do that yes or no i wouldn't personally <laughs> personally to me those are dead people mushrooms anyways um this is beautiful i love the mushroom lamp too it's just illuminating in all the right ways it looks gorgeous the teens found a hangout spot hope nothing bad happens Ooh, this is Awesome! I love this idea. Oh, I'm so glad that you did this. It's perfect. So you've got like the graveyard and of course like a little teen hangout in the graveyard picnic. I only did that once when I was a teenager. Went to a graveyard and um, it really spooked me. I didn't want to be there for very long. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't last very long. <laughs> And then there was like patrol cars in the graveyard. It was awful. I was like, oh my god, like how are you guys like <laughs> How are you guys like chilling by graves like literally drinking paper bagged 40s right now? Like this is so fucked. Like I'm sorry, like these people are dead and I feel awful doing this by their grave. Gotta go. Anyways, <laughs> this is really cool. I love it. I love the concept. You killed it. <laughs> I've seen Hannibal, so I know no person shrooms. I haven't seen Hannibal, so I don't know. Wow, not what I was planning on at all, but apparently I don't craft anything ever. Excuse me. This is so cool. Wow. I really, really like what you did here. It really, it looks like it's like the inside of like a crypt. And then you've got all sorts of little mushies. And the weedies really help a lot in the green. Oh, that looks awesome. That's a beautiful photo. Summoning demons in the crypt. Oh my god, Romeo and Julia. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> this just reminds me of where Romeo and Juliet did like their little... <laughs> little KYS moment, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> this is so cool. I really, really like, again, how you framed it and how you decorated it with... See, if it were me, like I would have done like... Like it all symmetrical, but it's so cool that you like did it your own way with having it be kind of off a little bit, rule of thirds type of moment. It's really cool. I really, really like that. Um, yeah, it's giving Romeo and Julia. It's very, I love it. I love it. So beautiful. Last one I can do before I go to work, but this was so much fun. Natalie, have fun at work. Thank you so much for participating. 
stunning. Stunning. Again, the mushrooms. You guys are so smart. And the tarantula. Ah, that's cool. Oh, and the wallpaper. See, that's creative to have the cityscape. Wow, I don't even know if I know what that wallpaper is. And then the graveyard wall. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely love. Magical spooky graveyard. Wish I had some better wall options. You know what? I feel that a lot. I feel that a lot. <laughs> I'll always see what you guys end up doing and then I'll be like, damn, like I wish I had that wallpaper. I feel like I would have done something totally different if I had a different wallpaper. But this is awesome. The little trash on the floor. That's a good touch. And the bench. Ugh. Very awesome. Panicked, but here's mine. Wow. Wait, is this outside? Oh my gosh, you took a picture outside? Wait, did you build something outside? No way. No freaking way. That's really cute. I love it. <laughs> I was thinking like, how did you get the trees inside of your house? Oh my gosh, this is great. I See, this is just so wow. I love when you guys do stuff outside in the happy home paradise. Because, yeah, this is amazing. I haven't decorated anything outside in this game in so long. A very long time. That's really awesome. It looks beautiful. Not very spooky, but somewhere people can go to share a moment of peace with their deceased loved ones. Oh, You know what? I think that's a sweet sentiment. I love it. It looks beautiful. And I like that you did, like, a little bit of, like, a lighter theme with the little... What are these? Hydrangeas in the back. I think it's beautiful. Did the outside with the graveyard and inside with an office for organization on the funeral. Uh, <laughs> oh, so cool. Graveyard out outside and then the funeral home inside with sweets. <laughs> You're serving up sweets at the funeral home. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a really cool idea. And I am applauding you for going above and beyond and doing two separate areas. Like that's crazy. I blame Bob. <laughs> it's all Bob's fault. Is he the graveyard keeper? The airmobile birds as crows. That's a cool idea. It's awesome. This is cool. And the flowers, the flowers fit really well here because yeah, those would be like funeral flowers, but they're, they're the wedding flowers. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting how flowers come at like some of the most important times of your life. Anyways, sometimes for some people they're into that. I think this is cool. The lighting is awesome with the lamp posts too and the lights in the back. Tried an outdoor build this time around. See? Fucking awesome. Oh, see a well. My girl's in there. <laughs> My girl I don't like is in there. This is gorgeous. I can't believe you guys can get all this stuff done outside in Happy Home Paradise in such a short time. It takes me so long to do the outside. With the pathing too, mmm. Mmm. So good. 15 minutes passes by so fast, like. You're right. Ooh, that tree in the background, it fits so well with all of the greenery that you have on the walls. So cool that you did like an indoor and an outdoor wall. It looks awesome. The shovel. God, I'm so mad. Oh no! What's her name? Who is this? Diana? Dirty Diana? Rest in peace. Rest in peace, girl. <laughs> My sister Lily's again. She says, this is so fun! Tell Lily I'm stoked that she's participating. This is cool. Oh no! Look at all these dead villagers! <laughs> That's a little morbid, Lily. A little bit morbid, but this looks really cool. I'm really loving all of the little graves and then the little lanterns. I should have used cool lanterns like that instead of the lamp post. Resurrecting Sherb? <laughs> oh my god, this is cute. This is really cute. The light that's beaming down on it. That's very creative. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a little resurrection of our boy. Well, that's not my boy. That's your guys' boy. But that's really creative. Outdoor build. Ooh, we have a little witchy section of our graveyard, too. And a chainsaw. I hate that they have the chainsaw man's 
Chainsaw men at haunted houses, they can choke. This is great, Jesse. I was going for a traditional graveyard look, but decided mid-design to do it red and a little different. Ooh. This is like uh, how they do graveyards, I feel like, at haunted houses. They do creative lighting. Like you wouldn't typically see red lighting at a graveyard, right? And it wouldn't really actually be all that spooky. But this is really cool. I like how you have this all set up. And then, yeah, it's like um, on a hill, you know? And the, what is this, ballet bar? I forget what it's called in game is helping convey that as well. It's awesome. It's like a little city graveyard, you know? I literally just reset, so I don't have gravestones yet. How did you make this look so cool then? Wow. The polishing effect. That's awesome. The vines, the vines are such a good idea. Ah, oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> don't judge me, I'm using Harps Island. Don't have any outdoor wallpapers, floorings. I don't judge you at all. <laughs> I hate when you're like, when you're decorating and you don't have the right wallpaper flooring. It drives me so nuts. I hate when that happens to me. <laughs> I love it. I love that you have like this beautiful manicured lawn underneath all of your gravestones. You know what? To me, it fits perfectly. I think it looks great. Spectacular, even. You killed it. You know, you gotta work with what you got. And I feel like that's part of the brownie points, you know? Ooh! We got a little crypt moment over here. You put a super cool... <laughs> I almost said, like, patio. Crypt patio. <laughs> I really like your super cool crypt patio. That actually looks really awesome. And then, of course, your graveyard. Oh, it just looks sick. Man. This is a really cool room. This is very awesome. My outdoor graveyard. Ooh. Ooh, very spooky. Photos are killing it, by the way. Wow. And your shovel. That looks great. And your trash bags? What are the trash bags for? I hope leaves. I really hope. Tired wench. Oh, the car. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, I guess you have to have somewhere to park at the graveyard. I wish we had an actual hearse. This is giving hearse vibes, but like imagine if we had a hearse in this game. Ooh, this lighting is really sick. Yes, this lamp. That lamp is doing a lot of work here. Like. That's such a graveyard ass lamp or like a spooky scene in a movie lamp. Just saying where the gyroids go to rest. Oh, to have gyroids. No, that's such a cool idea. Wow. This is the first time also I'm seeing the gravestones on the graveyard wall. I didn't even see those before, really. <laughs> wasn't really paying attention, but that looks really cool. And the Wheaties. Oh. Awesome! Okay, we got a couple more. Crypt for some lucky pirates? <laughs> this is really creative. It's got like a little bit of like a sci-fi ancient ruins vibe. <laughs> That's really cool. I love that. Just the boys hanging out. Just hanging out. What are they doing in the middle of the graveyard? Nefarious activities, I would say. Hmm. Up to no good. These gyroids, you can't trust them. This is awesome. I really like the layout that you did here. Indoor, outdoor, man. You guys inspire me all the time. The video quality looks bad, so here's some more pics in there for you, but what the hell happened while making this? What do you mean, what happened? This is awesome. It's kind of um, giving a little bit of city graveyard too, like one of the prior submissions, but also you have all the little... <laughs> It makes me sad when you guys put the little villager photos by the graves, but I understand it. And however, rest in peace to all these <laughs> villagers gone but not forgotten. No, it looks great. I don't know what you mean, what the hell happened while making this. That is a graveyard if I've ever seen one. Haunted graveyard. Have you guys played a graveyard keeper? I have played graveyard keeper. I'm playing it right now. Playing it for a video? 
Um, and I'm about three quarters through the game. It's a little bit of like fucking bullshit right now. Like honestly, like it's just getting really like grindy and kind of annoying to me. But the art style and like the game in general is really good. And I'm waiting for the story to be a little bit more engaging. And it's kind of just started heating up. People are starting to have interpersonal relationships in the town. And I'm here for it. I'm here for the drama. Um, this is super cool. It looks amazing. <laughs> a little scary with like little axe ladies. Didn't have gravestones, lol. I hate when that happens, but you made it. You made it happen. You know, it looks like a, it's got a little bit of an ancient influence, ancient ruins type of crypt. It's absolutely lovely. Singe, thank you for coming. Okay, you guys, you guys, how we doing? I think that I hit everybody. I'm gonna go in here. We've got one more. So speak now or forever hold your peace if you're not a soggy beanie baby. <laughs> if you're not a milk soaked plushie that you throw at the wall, then <laughs> please let me know if I missed you so I can go find it, okay? Um, wow. See, I love the use of the spooky items too. Can't forget those. Spooky items, pumpkins. It's lovely. I love the symmetry. You know, symmetry just scratches my brain real quick. Cat, let me resubmit. Um, not gonna be able to do the last one. Ari, we will miss you. We will miss you. And we'll announce the winners at the end. Um, after our next one, which will be our last one. But I'm going down the line here. I think we're back in our spirit Halloween era. Okay, let me make sure if there's any new ones, they'll pop up. <gasps> Couldn't decide which filter to use. Ooh, this one is giving it like a little bit of like a somber feel, like an old movie, like a widow going to see the grave of her husband, which happens to be Dom. <laughs> But I also really like this filter because this filter is so like Halloween, but it also reminds me of the Instagram era where everybody had these type of filters on their photos. <laughs> How does it work in both situations? I don't know, but this is great. Love the little stones and like the symmetry here with the little walkway down to this archway. And then it's really cool that you made like a little wall, like a half wall, you know? So you're going to like the other section of the graveyard. Yes, like a gate. <clears throat> Miss List the milk cat was a webkins. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought we were talking about the <laughs> the one meme of like the milk soaked plushie that you throw at the wall. Um is there anybody that I'm missing? Please say something right meow. Right meow or I'm going to move on. You have a couple seconds because I would love to see your submission. But everybody, round of applause. You all did fucking really good. Killed it. Killed it, actually. Pumpkin patch. I love that. You know, we didn't, we haven't done a lot of pumpkin-y type of stuff. And we just have so much good pumpkin things. So I'm going to throw in pumpkin patch. Something witchy, but not witch's cottage because we did that literally last month. Trick or treating. Trick-or-treating could be fun. Vampire lair. Are there vampire-y items in the game, though? You know, like, is there a... What do the vampires lay in? The coffins, you know? I mean, there's that one thing that kind of gives coffin that some of you guys used in your crypts. But I feel like that might be a little too out there for Animal Crossing. But let me know. Haunted Hayride, you could definitely include that in your pumpkin patch. That goes hand in hand with pumpkin patch to me because pumpkin patch, you could do an actual pumpkin patch, but you could also do a pumpkin patch excursion. So you could have like a little food stand. You could have the little hayride. You could have a corn maze, you know? That is all included in pumpkin patch. Sure. Potion factory, that's a good way to include witchy but without doing Witch's Cottage. Like, oh, Apothecary? Hmm. 
somebody did somebody did um suggest a haunted library olivia what if we did like apothecary library do you know what i mean i feel like you could do like a haunted apothecary or a haunted library <gasps> Frankenstein would be so fun. Mad Scientist Lab would be so fun. Oh, fuck. Fuck. If we had to get rid of one and do a Mad Scientist, which one would it be? Fuck. Okay, I might, might do something unpopular. Mad scientists can't have bookshelves. Well, I was thinking like library slash apothecary. So you can do either or. You could do a haunted library. You could do a haunted apothecary. Worst nightmare. That's a good idea too. Crime scene would be really hard. Maybe get rid of that one. I was literally thinking that same thing, eel boy. I'm gonna do Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry I'm throwing it in there. You guys don't have to vote for that one, okay? You can vote for whichever one you want, but I'm throwing it in there just in case it has a chance. Here, we're gonna do Mad Scientist Lair. What is going on here with like the, the screen? No, no additional votes. Why is it doing that? Chill. Okay, I'm throwing it up. I'm sorry I took out crime scene. Rest in peace, crime scene. But we are voting on the following prompt ideas. Monster Mash. So a Halloween party. Mad Scientist Lair. Pumpkin Patch, which could be a lot of things. You can do the Haunted Hayride. You could do a Haunted Corn Maze. You could do an actual Pumpkin Patch. Pumpkin Patch is also typically sometimes have farmers markets like there's a lot of different ways you can go with it and it doesn't even necessarily have to be spooky if you don't want it to be and then our last one is a haunted library slash haunted apothecary you can do either or or both of them you know what i mean i figured those would kind of go together a little bit so you know to each their own mm. When is the next Animal Crossing competition? I love these so much. My chair is going crazy today. I tried to tighten it, but I think it's just gone beyond return. Don't buy this stupid chair. I got it on Amazon. I don't even know what chair it is. Um, we do Animal Crossing New Horizons design competitions every second Saturday of the month. So um, make sure you guys come on second Saturdays, unless otherwise noted, okay? But second Saturdays, yeah, like next month, I actually do have to move it. I think I do because I'm pretty sure I'm going to a festival and I'm hosting people at my house next month. So I might move it either up or down. So I will let you guys know. But typically second Saturdays we do them unless I have something else going on that I have prior engagements. But um please feel free to come by. And I always will post it on my Twitch schedule when we are doing them. Okay, guys. Here we go. It looks like our winner. Wow. Our winner is Library slash Apothecary. That's going to be a very fun, cutesy, interesting little build. You know what? I might try to do mine. Okay, so let's see. Let's show some pictures of maybe Apothecary because I feel like we might want to see a little bit of like what that would look like. It's where people make little shit. <laughs> Heavy Dirty Souls, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome. We're gearing up to do our last Animal Crossing design competition if anybody wants to join in. Please feel free to get your Switch out and open up your Animal Crossing New Horizons. But... Apothecary, they make like little potions and stuff, like, and like medicine, you know? And they have like these little like apothecary cabinets that we have in the game. 
and all of these little shelves of jars. So you could do with this prompt that is apothecary slash library, you could do either or, or you could do both in one room. I'm trying to think of a way, I'm trying to think of a way to also make mine a mad scientist layer. <laughs> I might straight up do my apothecary like with a little Frankenstein corner. Three, two, and one. 15 minutes on the clock. Okay, first of all, I need the guide on because otherwise I don't know why I like lose track of what I'm doing. Um, flooring. Okay, so actually, I might have to pull some items out first and see what I'm working with in the apothecary department. So what I was talking about, there is like these little apothecary drawers, you know? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's kind of what I'm thinking of. This is serving apothecary realness. Um, and I think that, what if I do like a vintagey looking mad scientist? How would that work out? That would be kind of a sleigh, kind of a sleigh, I think. And then there's also like shelving with little lotions and potions on it. I know, I know, I know that there is, but where that is, I don't know. But it has the little glowing moss. Do I even have this item? You know, it's a mystery to me because, oh, I do. <gasps> I do have the glowing moss shelves. Oh, cool. Okay, fabulous. So these are like the two main items that I wanted to work with here. Um, apothecary could also have some plant and stuff, but like all of these items might be a little too modern looking for me. Maybe bonsai shelves. So I'm going to pull her out. What else? What else? What else? What else? I want like mushroomy stuff as well. Maybe. Okay, so if we're gonna, mm. when did they invent IVs? <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, I don't know, girl. Um, operating room, mm, maybe I can't do like my super vintagey idea, but I am gonna do a skeleton because we're getting spooky with it. And then, um, maybe, okay, so we've got a bunch of interesting items over here too in the sciency department. We're already at 12 minutes. Oh my God, I'm, this is not okay. <laughs> this is not okay how quickly it goes by. Okay, um, <gasps> I do have the cauldron. Do you remember last week when I was like, guys, I don't have the cauldron. I don't have it, it doesn't exist. I do have it. Okay, well shit, let me whip her out real quick. Cause what if, what if, you know? You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> You never know what will happen to you. Okay. Um, I know for a fact, this is a fact, all facts, no printer. I want a jack-o'-lantern, but where is that found? I'm going to do one of these in the build because like we have to get a little bit like spooky with it, you know? Okay, I love the Rover's briefcase. Okay, urns. Metal pot. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Pots in general. Love it. Okay. We've got a lot of really good items here. Ooh. Okay, wait. I'm sort of really liking maybe just going the apothecary direction. I still kind of want to do my mad scientist thing. Let me see. Because I just don't, okay, now that I've established my apothecary aesthetic, I'm not really sure if I can make both work. Because if I were to do a mad scientist thing, like I would probably wanna use, well, okay, so there's this hospital bed. There's no rusted hospital bed, but there's something like this. And then what if we did a little curtain? Ooh, you know, like um the aesthetic of like the beds in Harry Potter? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like in their little infirmary where it's like a little bit of like the m mix of like the fucking vibes. 
So maybe we can make something like that work. Um, a little bit of like the present day and of course like their old timey shit that they do in that movie. You guys know the old timey shit. Mm. Not really seeing anything pattern wise that would be good. Not really sold on any of these ones and I'm spending a little bit too much time on patterns. Just a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go with, ooh, maybe red? Maybe, perhaps, you know what I mean? Will I ever stream Sims 4 again? Um, I'm not sure. I've not played Sims 4 in a very long time, as of right meow, you know what I mean? It's been a minute. 18 months, I love you, Lissy. Heart, <gasps> rat, heart. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that half chicken. You're so awesome! Thank you for being so sweet. I hope you're having a lovely and amazing weekend. You are an angel. Okay, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Um, I think maybe I even have a little bit too much room. Now it's getting confusing. Like, and I'm not really doing the mad scientist vibe anymore. Now it's like a fucking infirmary. Okay, wait, no. And I'm not even really in my apothecary shit right now. So here we go. I think I'm gonna go with the more witchy vibe. I might get rid of this stuff. I don't know, I just kind of went off the deep end a little bit here. But um, these plants have potential to stay. I am gonna use the little urn on here and then maybe a jar. Oh, I wanted to put bugs too. I'm gonna have a big table in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have a big table in the middle. And it's gonna have all sorts of cool stuff on it. You guys, just wait. Just you wait. Ranch tea table. Maybe. Not loving any of the designs. Okay, wait. All right. Um, I'm throwing everything out the window right now. I'm just gonna see, I'm just gonna try to make this work because now we're at eight minutes and I'm getting a little nervous. A little nervous. Terrarium, terrarium. Bite me, thanks for the follow. Um, shoot, okay, we got seven minutes, seven minutes. Are there any cool walls that have like jars on them? You know what I mean? Like, fuck, this is crazy. Um, We could get away with like library wall. Oh my God, actually this is gonna fucking eat. Eat. Mm. Okay. I, yep, I'm sorry, I'm ditching Mad Scientist, she's going. Cause this is all I can figure out in my tiny little fucking pea brain how to do right now. Is to just kind of take one thing and stick with it, you know? Okay, so. Gotta figure out some of the spacing of this stuff in general right here. First of all, we have to have a little experiment table, right? So that's where we run all of our little experiments. Second of all, maybe we have our plants. Hmm. They're gonna be in the foreground because I always forget to put things in the foreground. Okay, get the fuck out of here, dog. I might get rid of this. Unless I can make the liquid. That's an interesting thought. Doing a different color liquid. Honestly, that fucking slays. Okay, we're good. Hot. We're gonna have a little pumpkin up top because you know, we can't forget to celebrate Halloween. Holler. Okay, this is where we're gonna make all of our potions. Got a little briefcase. This is looking cute. Okay, we got six minutes. Oh my God. Luckily, I don't have to do too many things on the walls necessarily. I'm getting rid of one urn. Okay, we've got to have something next to the skeleton there. What is that going to be? I don't know. I do not know. Um, This has like jars on it, right? No, it's more like home decor. 
heck? Isn't there cooler shit in this game? <laughs> we could use this as like a little lampy. No, it's not really working with me. Not really working. We need to fill up a couple spaces here. We've got five minutes. Okay, wood burning stove next to the books. Really good fucking idea, dude. <laughs> sure, sure. And we got our little skelly. Okay. Um, we could use the lab equipment. Yes, that's a good idea. Scattered papes. You know how we do. A little bit of... There's gotta be something else. There's gotta be something else cool that speaks to us. Ooh, barrel. Barrel right there. That's chill. That's chill with me. Hope it's chill with you guys. Oh, bird. Fuck yeah. Bird. Bird cage. Okay. We need more cutesy fun stuff. Um, bonsai. Sure. Where's like the lab equipment stuff? That could work. I wish we could make it a different color. But like, do I give a shit? No. Do I? I don't know. Maybe there's something else that we could use. Let's say, hypothetically, there was something else that we could use. Okay, what else? Um, we need like a little light up top. Maybe... Little vines would be fun, actually, and we turn the lights down. That would actually be really fun. Stacked books? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We should get some stacked books. You're right. Um, this light kind of like beaming down, maybe? I actually feel like hanging light bulb would work better. Yeah, and then we definitely need stacked books, like you said. Okay, chill. Chill! The song is giving me anxiety. We've got three minutes! Three minutes, no! Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. It's working a little bit. Big rug. We need a big rug in here now. Oh, should we do the spooky rug? Let's see. Could we get away with it? We kind of could. Do you guys like spooky rug? Because I like it. Okay, I'm sorry. I like it. Okay. Um, Turn the lighting down. I think you're right. I think you're right. We're going to do some candles on the floor. I love doing candles on the floor. You get more cluttered and it'll really come together. I think you're right. Okay, this looks good. We can't even see our cauldron, by the way. Um, should the cauldron go in the corner? Yes, so that we can see it more. We need something on top here. Oh my god, we've got two minutes. We've got two minutes! Um, do we eat while we're cooking? Oh, jars! Oh, fuck yeah, jars. Oh my god, yes! Oh, yes! Coconut oil jars! Oh, I kind of want to get rid of the lab science kit. Tell me I can do that right now. Can I? Yes or no? Tomato puree? Nobody knows the difference. Maybe something like that. Um, I like these jarred mushrooms. Okay. This should be off the ground, or on the ground somewhere. We need more jars out and about. Maybe we put this on the flow. I wanted to put my pumpkin somewhere, but I do like the idea of having a bunch of jars all around. Tomato beer. <laughs> There's just like literal fucking ketchup on the floor. Okay, no, maybe no ketchup on the flow. Ooh, it's like a little bit darker. I think the lights are actually off. The lab kit stays. More vines, something on the walls. I don't have time for something on the walls. I don't have time for that. Um, unfortunately. I feel like this is actually pretty good. I think I can get away with this, you know? We've got 43 seconds. We could potentially do a little drape. 
No, too cluttered. Too much. Too much. Uh, can't think of anything that could go on the walls because it's already just like there's enough. Except for maybe this dried flower garland. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 19 seconds. 19 seconds. You think the lab kit stays just a little too colorful for me right now. But I think... I think I'm good. We got 10 seconds. No! <laughs> no, I'm so sad. I don't really feel like I slayed this one. Ah, oh, time is up. Time is up, everybody. Get your submissions in. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? I don't know. You know, it's good for 15 mi minutes. It's a little bit of both. The apothecary and the library. I think we hit both bases here. Okay. Wow, that was a hard one. What do you guys think? That's a really good item. Okay, the medicine cabinet. Fuck. You guys are all going to use the medicine cabinet, and I didn't use it because I didn't think about it. No. The medicine cabinet's such a good fucking idea. I think it's good. Even though you're not feeling it, I feel like you did a really good job and you incorporated really good items. That's actually so messed up. Esby, thank you so much for coming and being so sweet to me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. So, this was fun. It was fun. It was very fun. Yes, this is giving apothecary. I like all the paintings that you did too. And yeah, the little medicine cabinet. Like, come on, you guys, come on. I love that you have somebody working the desk up here. That's adorable. This just looks like every house I've ever done for Dobby. You know what? This is such like a Dobby vibe. I did see one time somebody made Dobby a detective and I really loved that. But yeah, in general, like this is totally a Dobby vibe. Adobe. <laughs> it looks amazing. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. And then best of both worlds. Ooh, a little bit of both. I'm so pissed you guys all have the medicine cabinet. That's actually, <laughs> I feel like this is a crime against me. Me personally, I'm offended. I bet you somebody brought up in chat that I need a medicine cabinet and I didn't read it because I'm a fucking bitch. I shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Fishies are an ingredient. Oh, you know what? Yeah, sure. We can make lotions and potions with fishies, fish scales, or you can just be making sushi. Like, you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. Do you know what I mean? She tried to hide the body, just wanted to take take the chance to tell you that. I love you so much. Oh, Pookie Bear, no, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for being so nice. I really appreciate that, so Sophia. Big kiss to you. And your video submissions are fucking killing it. So. Okay. You have so many little pops of color. And it looks really cool. Maybe I should have dimmed my lights like how you did. Because it would actually probably make the lab kit look cool like yours does. And yeah, you got the medicine cabinet. Yeah. A lot of good apothecary items here. Ooh, the jar. Yes, there is like a big fucking jar. And then the pot. Great idea. It's fabulous. You did really good. The little outfit too. Gagged. Secluded apothecary ruins. We're mixing potions outside. That's really cool. This is really cool. How creative. And so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. A hidden apothecary in an old boring library. That's really cool. That's a such a creative idea. And the way that you like took the photo too, you know what I mean? Like, I just really like that you have the bookshelves. You know what? I've actually never ever thought about or seen anybody do this before, but using the bookshelves partition wall as bookshelves, sorry. I feel like everybody and their mother uses wooden bookshelves. And I've never seen anybody do this and it looks so much better. 
Looks so realistic. That is actually killing it. You did amazing. And I love your apothecary. That's very... I'm going to steal that. Mad scientist apothecary? I'm so mad! I'm so mad! You did such a good job! It looks awesome! Your villagers look amazing. Um, Dr. Lucky is really doing his thing. I love this so much. <laughs> this is so cute, and the background has so much detail in it. Do you guys see that? The moon and the spooky trees? Wow. You really had to do it to him, Brookerside. You had to do it to him. That is really good. Oh, I'm so jealous. It looks awesome. Thank you for making this evening so lovely and enjoyable. This is so fun. Thank you, Caden. Thank you for participating. That's very sweet of you. This is really... Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. It looks like it's like in a little... It's like a little hidden library. You know, the secret library where the secrets are kept. And I really like the little chessboard. So many good items in here. And that is such a good picture right there. Oh, the lighting. The lighting is making it, babes. Oh my goodness. Closing late, but here's my try. Not late at all. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh. This one goes crazy. You did not come to play, Paola. You did not come to play. This is, wow. The spider. I love the little butterfly peeking out. The way that you did the lighting. And to use those colors, like who would do that? I would never be so adventurous, but it works so good. It's so eclectic. And so like fortune teller core in this little corner in this little like center of the room it looks really cool oh we got more angles yes wow that goes crazy that's really really cool you're just amazing i can't believe you do that in 15 minutes that was so stressful <laughs> yay wait 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 oh my goodness no way! Is this our little mad scientist back here? <laughs> the fire extinguisher? The chainsaw? I see that. I see that. No freaking way. This is so cool to do a front desk. <laughs> to do a front desk and then have the back room be an office. That is so funny. I love that. Jesus, that is so cool! Late submission for the Spirit Halloween? Oh my gosh, boo. Did you get obsessed with doing Spirit Halloween prompt and then have to spend more time on it? Because I love that for you. That looks really, really good. Oh my gosh, and you even went above and beyond and got all the signs and everything. I love when boo does late submission. <laughs> it's just so cool. I just love it. It makes me happy. ACNH decorating community been real quiet since my sister Lily dropped this one. This is true. This is true. That's a beautiful library. Lily, I really love it. You have all the little books and all the little magazines out. I like this thing that you have out too. That's really fun to have in a library. Typewriter? Like, come on! And it's very, like, um, dark. Dark academia. You know? It looks good. It looks good. It's very library core. Witchy apothecary. Ooh. The colors. Ooh. Wow, that's so cool. With the fun little flooring, the summoning floor, and the candles when the lights are off. It's like a totally different vibe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a little secret witching corner. Wow. Wow, that's so incredible. So pretty. This one was hard for me, but my apothecary. We got the thinker. Thinker moment. Ayo, thinker check. Ooh. The couch. The couch is a really good one. 
This is so cool. And your apothecary desk? I should have done a desk. You guys all did this cool desk thing and I never use this item. I always think like I want to, but then I never do. And now I'm jealous. You guys did really cool stuff though. Fucking awesome. Victorian adjacent apothecary. Wow, this photo! This photo! Oh, that gets me so excited. That is so cool. Wow. I love badass, like, fucking full frame, symmetrical pics. When you guys do that, it always just, like, extra points for me, you know? It's so cool. I really love this. And I think it's just so simply perfect. Perfection. Antique library holding a special secret. What is our special secret? It's very secretive. It's very secretive in here. Is that a ghost? Is that ghost of Christmas past, present, or future? I think past is the one that is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually remember. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. The library, yes, with the little shelves. And the way that the lighting hits those shelves is really something else. It's spectacular. The little chess pieces. I feel like we're doing summoning. We're doing a little something. Also, candles in the library. You guys ever think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I love that we do like unrealistic things in our Animal Crossing builds, you know? Because you can do whatever you want. Needed another 15 minutes? I totally feel that. With mine, I feel like I could have done a lot more in a little bit more time. I might work on it a little bit, not gonna lie, later. But this is so cute! Your apothecary and your little cashier! Hello! <laughs> I think it looks great. Even with the time restraints, the time restrictions, I think you still did a really good job. Are we out of terrifying tunes? No, it's just quiet as fuck. We're not out of terrifying tunes. Okay, back to our submissions. Experimental medicinal home lab. It's old timey. It's very old timey. I like the hat. I like that you've got the the phonograph. I love it. And the medicine cabinet. Yes, I feel like you guys are all, we're all getting the vibe. It looks really, really good. I love this. Zipper didn't survive his trip to the apothecary. <laughs> oh no! I love that you're like still like so dedicated to like maybe doing a crime scene. I love, you know what? Throw it in there. This is fucking awesome. Mm. These playlists, I just looked up spooky Nintendo music on YouTube. And I just kind of go through and I click on a random one each time. Um, they kind of repeat the songs a lot, but <laughs> you know, there's only so much spooky Nintendo music, let's be real. You know what I mean? This is great. I love it. Oh, no. Did Zipper... I feel like there's something else going on here a little bit. Looks like Zipper was locked up, maybe. And... They took his head. <gasps> and they're gonna use it to make potions! That's too funny. I love it. <laughs> shaking. Literally shaking, crying, throwing up. It looks fucking cool the lighting all the little green and then you have like the little colors of the lab kit and all of your candles Ooh, it's very spooky very very spooky scary happy halloween halloweener mad scientist apothecary library you guys all so many of you guys made the mad scientist thing work and this looks amazing and i'm just like so like ugh. I should have just tried harder. Wish I had more items. I feel that every single time. And I always feel like I'm missing something or I can't find it. There's too many items in this game, but also too little items. Library slash apothecary. Here we go. Wow. Wowza. That is so pretty. The color palette, the everything. 
You made it feel like, um, I love like the metal. A lot of you guys have done this, but like the metal and the wood, because then it feels like a little bit more medical in a way. Also, great idea. This is like a coffee item, is it not? Great idea to use this as a little burner because then it doesn't have like the same colors as the lab kit because if you would have thrown that in here, it probably would have looked a little funky. You know, I feel that. I can't believe none of you bitches told me to use the medicine cabinet. You guys probably did, but I'm still pissed. Last one for today had so much fun. This is awesome. Wow. That desk back there, that desk looks really cool. It's like a apothecary office, you know, all the clutter, all the bottles on the wall, you fuckers. I forgot about bottles on the wall. Oh my God. Stella's library. I want this to be her house. Like I want somebody to make this into her actual real life house. Cause this is so cute. It's adorable. Ooh, I really like, yes. I really like how it's structured in here. How you put all the little bookshelves and stuff. It looks great. Wow. Okay. Anybody that I'm missing? We've got one more submission. If you're still trying to submit, let me know now. Or if I didn't see yours, let me know right now. Okay? Haunted Lib. <laughs> Haunted Lib. Took way too long to download this from Switch. Yes. That does get really annoying, doesn't it? And the thing to send it straight to your phone doesn't work for me. I've never gotten it to work. Personally, to me, personally, it's never worked. Maple Library. Cutie buns. And I love that you made it haunted and you still had Halloween in here. It's your library. You do whatever you want with it. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful. I love the color palettes that we all kind of did. A lot of us did. Not everybody kind of went with like the sort of old timey, old timey wood look. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different eras that were represented through this prompt. And it's very cool. It's very cool and very interesting. And I really like it. I feel like we all just killed it. Did it see mine? We let me let me see if I can find it. But what's your Twitter at? Because I can go look it up. I can go look for ya. I wanna make sure that I get to see everybody's. And then this is your time now also to go and vote for your favorites. The ones with the most likes will be declared the winners. I'm gonna take a moment after this, after I find our last one. I'm gonna take a moment and go through and count up all the votes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. If you're private, I won't be able to see it. Okay, I'm going to find you right now. <gasps> I found you! <laughs> Anybody else? Please, please speak up now so I can go find you. But I found you. This is really cool. The summoning circle and the summoning rug, you would think that that would be too much summoning, but no, just the perfect amount of summoning. The lab kit on the floor. I love the little witchy cauldron. Library, apothecary. You kind of hit all things. Oh, this thing is so cool. The, the, you get this from a bug tourney, right? The bug, the bug rally tournament. Bug v bug, WWE. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. I really like this room too. You killed it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, I think that we got to everybody. Last call, last call. I am gonna go and count up all of the votes. So you're gonna wait for me. So our winner for our first prompt today is, our first prompt was Spirit Halloween Store. And with 32 votes, it looks like Paula's taking it home. Taking it home with this Spirit Halloween store. Looks awesome. 
I love it. I love all your little designs too. It's just a cutie pie. Like you killed it. So congrats Paula on winning for the first prompt. Our second prompt today was graveyard. And I actually have two winners here. It was just so close that I just decided that two people are gonna win today. And our first winner here with the most votes, with 23 votes on Graveyard is Red Fern at Art Possum. This was so cool. I think you all really impressed us with the photo, like perspective and everything and all of the little details with like the little lights on the wall and stuff. It was very spooky scary. So Red Fern is our official graveyard winner. And then I would like to award a prize to our runner up, who is Chicken. Where the gyroids go to rest with 21 votes. I just thought this one was really cool and it was really close. And I was like, okay, let's go. Let's go, yeah, double slay. Absolutely. So. Those are our two winners for Graveyard. I also picked two winners for, excuse me one moment. I also picked two winners for the Haunted Library slash Haunted Apothecary. Our official winner for Haunted Library or Haunted Apothecary with 26 votes is Beth. Beth, this looks like every other house I've done for Dobie. Yeah, and you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So killing it, Beth. Congratulations, our second winner for Haunted Library slash Haunted Apothecary is gonna be Paula. Cause I just thought this one was so cool. It was probably my favorite one today. I don't like to say that I pick favorites, but I just like was really inspired by this one, to be honest. I thought it was really cool. And so I wanted to make sure that I shout Paula out for also coming and doing these a lot. Like, thank you. I really appreciate that. And for just like showing up and doing this cool design, I just thought it was awesome. Like it looks really, really amazing. So yes, I love it. You guys, I have to say huge, huge thank you to everybody for participating today. I am so grateful for you guys for coming to these and coming and playing. It was really, really close. We had a lot of people come in really, really close, especially for the Spirit Halloween one. There was um probably, I think there was like three people that would have been runner up. So, you know, I didn't pick a runner up for that one, but that's okay. You know, next time you guys all did amazing. So many people went above and beyond and just did such cool stuff today and I'm really thankful for everybody to come and practice designing and Animal Crossing. I just think it's so fun and it's been my way that I've been enjoying Animal Crossing New Horizons lately as I haven't really been playing all that much. So, you know, it's really cool to be able to come and do this with you guys. So thank you everybody. 